Now, we are talking I'm a Celebrity, and last night, as I'm sure you know, Kadina Cox became the second person to be voted out of the castle. Kadina joins me now for our only daytime interview. It's so good to see you. You look absolutely gorgeous. How does it feel to be out? <laughs> oh my God, I'm in normal clothes. I didn't smell me in, like I've got makeup on. Like I even was able to put lippy on. It's, it's great to be out. I had normal bed last night. I am uh, happy to have eaten and slept very well. <laughs> Now, what did you ask for right away? What was your what was your meal of choice? Oh, do you know what? It's the most random choice. I had a fish finger sandwich with <gasps> some chips and a brownie and a piece of cake. Excellent, excellent. And what a wise woman. Oh, obviously, a fish finger sandwich. I mean, that's the kind of thing that you would be absolutely craving when you were in there. But sad to be out in a way, even although it's rather nice to you know to have some home comforts. Yeah, you know, it's obviously a shame to go out. Like, I really wanted to get to the end. Um, it would have been lovely to do cycling, even though it would have been freezing. Mm -hmm. And just leaving, like, all my pals behind, like, I know it's only six days, but it's so intense in there and you create such amazing bonds. Like, you just don't want to, like, leave. And, like, it's, it's such a fun experience that, yeah, I feel sad to have left. No, very much so. And it was kind of interrupted, wasn't it? Rudely interrupted by a storm when you all had to be taken away and put in quarantine. Were you able to enjoy any, any comforts there or were you kind of stuck in a room? What, what was going on? Yeah, the most bizarre situation. Like, <laughs> when I signed up, I thought it was going to be kind of plain sailing, but it really wasn't. Um, but, yeah, we got back and, you know, we were able to... I think the first thing I had was tomato soup, which was divine. <laughs> um, then followed by Percy Pigs the next day, obviously. Um, and I just, like, I just had salmon and veg. Like, it was really simple, because I knew going back in, we'd be back on rice and beans, so I didn't want to go too crazy. No, exactly. But that must have been very weird to come out and come back in again. You said you did this, Kadina, because you're kind of scared of an awful lot of things, and it was like confronting some fears. <laughs> Yeah, I'm scared of... I mean, I was scared of snakes. I don't think I'm scared of snakes anymore. <laughs> um, still scared of the critters, the cockroaches. They really freak me out. Spiders. So glad I didn't have to encounter rats. Heights. Um, do you want me to continue? <laughs> <laughs> you also, though, which I thought was really good, was you talked about living with MS. You talked about living with your condition, and that was a way. And I know that was part of the reason for going in as well, was to just raise awareness and, and, and talk about it. So that was that was really, that was a good thing as well, wasn't it? A very positive thing. Yeah, you know, I think I, I, I said um, at points that, you know, the best moments for me were the moments, weirdly, when I was really ill. I had a few kind of days of not being well. Sure. Um, but just the camp, you know, being around me and everyone, you know, being, like, worried about me, like, checking in on me, people helping me to, like, walk around because I couldn't have my wheelchair in there. So just having, like, you know, Adam and Danny and Louise and Frankie all basically just being, like, my walking sticks. Yeah. Um, it, it was really great, you know, to have that kind of support and also to be able to have, like, people, like, you know, see a little window into what it is to be, you know, to have MS. Um, so it was really nice to be able to showcase MS, kind of show other people, you know, with chronic con conditions, with um, invisible illnesses, that, you know, we can still crack on with life, you know, we can, you know, be really happy and life doesn't have to be all doom and gloom. And um, I, when I was first that diagnosed, thought it was kind of, you know, the end of the road. And um, since then I've lived an amazing life and probably better than what I ever would. So I just wanted to show people that, you know, the days will be hard um, and we will have mo moments where it's tricky and it's okay to be, you know, upset. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to be vulnerable. Um, but you just got to pick yourself up and, you know, enjoy, enjoy life because we only get one. Exactly. Fantastic sentiments. You all got on pretty well in there, apart from when it comes to cooking. And you know what it's like, Kadina. You've more than one person round the cooking pot. It's never going to go well, is it? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I knew this conversation was just going to come up because it was the camp conversation, wasn't it? Um, it's tough in there, you know. You've got not a lot of space. Um, and, you know, when you've got so many people to feed, like, you want to be able to make everyone happy. But having two cooks in the kitchen, everyone says it's not supposed to happen. And I've learned why while being in there. Um, <laughs> 
butting heads with another chef isn't fun um, and I really enjoy cooking but it became really challenging um, and the food was good when we managed to get it right. I mean I think the food was always good but just um, it, yeah it put a strain on the relationship I had with my fellow co-chef. You betcha. Yeah, you naughty boy. Just got a little bit, just got a little bit niggly, just a little bit niggly. But I'll tell you what, though, all of the women in the camp, you all bonded. And I think you'll all be friends for life, won't you? Yeah, absolutely love the girls. Frankie, Sneech and Louise are absolute angels. Um, they've all got their own, like, you know, wonderful personalities. Like, Sneech is like the life and soul of a party. But she can be, like, such a sweetie. Like, she's... She's really, like, it's really weird because you see, like, you know, a really, like, big, like, loud side, but she has such, like, a, you know, vulnerable side, which is beautiful. Frankie, even though she's, like, so youthful, she also is so mothering and, like, she was always like, Kadina, go for a nap. It's time for a nap. Go for a nap. Um, and then Louise was just the mother of the camp. And those three together, um, plus me and Ali, when she was in there, we were just a little girl band, I would say, but, um, yeah, only one of us could sing. <laughs> Well, that's OK. That's happened before in girl bands, as we all know. Kadina, it is so lovely to see you. Who would you like to win? Would you like it to be one of the girls? Yeah, I would love one of the girls to win. I think, you know, I think I have my money on Louise just because, you know, she has been the mother to all of oh. us. And I think all of us would be super happy if it was her. I mean, we'd be happy if it was anyone, but Louise has looked after all of us, like, you know, been there for all of us when we've been, you know, feeling low and... You know, she looks after the, the four kids, which is Matty, Danny, Snoochie and Frankie. Um, and those three, those four would be an absolute nightmare without her. Um, and she keeps it all in check. So it would be fabulous if Louise won. Oh, that'd be great. Kadina, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed the experience and lovely to talk to you. Thank you. <laughs> Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.